Jeff, you've been waiting an awful long time for this moment. And the reality of all of that hard work, as you can see Derek praying to himself, well, not to himself, but to a higher power, that it is he that is the last man standing. This is the dream. I hold in my hands the results of the 2019 212 Olympia. You start training, you start competing, and this is the dream. And this is going to be someone's right, dream come true go. tonight. Presenting the fifth place award, representing Redcon 1, I'd like to welcome Eddie Silva to the stage. Once again, folks, a record amount of money being put out to our 212 champs here tonight. Nearly $100,000 on the line. And the title of 212 Olympia champ. Eddie, let's take that Eduardo? fifth place award and check for $4,000 to our mm. fifth place finisher. Ahmad yeah. Ashkenani. All right. Yeah, that was fair. Because remember, in New York, a lot of people thought Eduardo was going to beat Ahmad Ashkenani, and it was Ahmad that actually won that competition. He's got nothing to be ashamed of. I told you, it's hard from May till September. Yeah. Very hard. That is a long time to stay prepped. All right, thank you, Eddie. Nick Jones in high tech presenting the fourth place award. And Nick Jones will take the fourth place award, the check for $6,000 and present it to John Jewett. John Jewett, I told oh, you. All right. Yeah, he looked good. The midsection wasn't there. He wasn't ready for prime time. But can you imagine placing in this place and you're not prepared? What happens next year? Yeah. He's headed in the right direction. We've got to get that midsection right. And I think he needs to work a little bit on his tan. The color's a little bit blotchy. That can work against you as well, especially when you got professionals like Derek Lunsford up there. Well, this 2019 has been off to a great start, and now it's off to a great finish. Randy Lloyd from Performix will present the third place award. And Randy will take the third place award, the check for $10,000, the Olympia bronze medal, to our third place finisher. The giant killer, Sean Clarita. All we, right. It's going to be close. We saw that happening as we started to focus more and more on Derek and Kamal in those final comparisons. Sean had the solid spot on third, and he's satisfied with that, I'm sure. He doesn't like to lose, but he knows what he's up against. Those guys are some very good bodybuilders, and that's the best he's ever looked. And how do you think the changes for Derek pulling that water between morning and night? lightening up a little bit. How do you think that pulled him from third to second or first or wherever he's going to end up? Well, now there's only two left, right? So Derek is right where he needs to be, and it's, it's going to come down to this. Alina Popa and Wings of Strength will present the second place award. Remember, Kamal's representing. Please take the second Olympia. place award. They have nobody but The check Olympia. for twenty thousand dollars, the Olympia silver medal, to our runner-up this evening, Derek Lunsford. All right, there it is. There it is, Kamal El Garni. Derek Lunsford, second place. I, I'm telling you, it came down to muscular oh. maturity. Kamal had that maturity at 47 years young, held off the 26-year-old. Derek's going to see a whole lot of days like this, and uh, he's going to do nothing else but improve. I mean, look at the shape. Look, look at, the, at the shape. I love how that metal settles into that vacuum. Yeah, you cannot complain about this kid's efforts. Second place for the second year in a row, hey. and a lot of great bodybuilders hey, have been hey, in this position it. before. Hey, 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 Flex on. Wheeler, Kevin Lavroni. <laughs> Second place in a bad place to be. Look at Kamal. But I, I talked about this earlier with Linda. At the press conference, hey, the gratitude on. of these bodybuilders to be here, these fitness, these figure, these physique the athletes. Man. Go back there. He yeah. was so grateful 
to be representing Libya, to re representing the people, and representing body international bodybuilding. Yeah, I mean, you can see he, he can barely Wait stand up. He's pulling the Ronnie Coleman before he gets the award. <laughs> crashing and going on Connelly, stage. Greg Connolly, CEO of Trifecta, and our Pro League President, Mr. Jim Mannion, will present the first place award. And they will take the first place award, the Olympia gold medal, the check for $50,000. And the title of 212 Olympia champion to our winner and new 212 champion, Kamal El-Dardi. Congratulations. They got to be partying in Libya. But not only that, the guys that know him because he's living in England. He's got like two countries celebrating him and now he's got a third right here in the United States in Las Vegas, Kamal El-Dardi doing exactly what he said he wanted to do, which was complete the cycle. He won an Arnold Classic and over in Ohio. He's now won here tonight. There's nowhere else for him to go except to come back and defend it against the 27-year-old Derek Lunsford Who next you year. know is going back to the drawing board between yeah. now and next year, and he's coming swinging. Yeah, Kamal did a great job. Look at 47 years old. For me, I'm done, because that was a very close, hotly contested contest against a youngster. He narrowly got this victory, and I'm sure he's going to be very, very thankful for the outcome. That is phenomenal. Gentlemen, your favorite pose, please. Shows the diversity in our sport. 26 and 47. I mean, these guys are phenomenal. Congratulations to the top five, the 2019 Joe Weider's 212 Olympia winners. And most muscular. We saw Shanique Grant in physique, Sidney Gillen in figure. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Let's we have saw our top Whitney three Jones right there, in please. fitness, and now this. And tomorrow, who knows? Brian Onsley's uh, defending pose, his title. George Brown. That's right. We've got uh, this going on tomorrow night. And then Bikini, Angelica Tashir, Janet Leo, and a lot of great up-and-comers tomorrow night trying to get that Bikini title. And that title's very slippery at best. Ashley Kaltwasser has three of them. And yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Tomorrow night, All right, going to be more interesting than much. tonight. Bikini, very international as well. That's right going to be there. really interesting to see all the countries represented. Well, Tim, it's going to get kicked off at 10 o'clock tomorrow at the Expo at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And, of course, we're going to be back here tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at digitalmuscle.com. And also, I believe Linda Murray is going to come back and join you as well. She did a phenomenal job. The champ knew the sport, knew the call-outs. Well, this guy, being from Libya, speaks English very well, being that he's living there. All Let's right, hear from I'm him. here with the champ. Got to turn that thing around. There we go. Kamal, you did it. It's been a long road. You've got a very interesting story. Most people know it. But it took you a while to actually get to this position. You're not a young man in this sport. 48, Kamal? 48 is November, yes. 48 years old, and Kamal brings his all-time best. The wide-open 212 title, which the great Flex Lewis gave up this last year. You have now taken, my friend. You are the 212 Olympia champion. Well, this is an honor for me. I couldn't swallow what's happened to me last year. Still dream. And this happened to me this year, taking the title back from my great, great supporter, Flex Lewis, is always... I mean, believe me, guys, Flex knows the story. When he was back in England in his first show, I was a guest boss in that show, and Flex his was first show. So I knew Flex since that day. We believed in him, and he's been a great ambassador for the bodybuilding, especially the 212. He made the 212 class up to here, and I hope we do something a little bit like what he did. So. Like I said, on the end of my career, it's a great to finish my career with winning the Olympia title. And this is, believe me, it's not me winning it. There's a, like what I said, it's a big story behind it. There's a big man is behind it, believed me, to me, like to get me my pro card. Here we go, thanks to Mr. Jim Mannion, which is, he knew about my, my story, whatever's happened, so he believed in me, he handed my pro card, and I never let him down. So I did my first Arnold Classic last year. I won the Arnold Classic, come third last year at the Olympia. Here, I won the, um, the Olympia. So that shows you guys, sometimes we hear rumors 
oh, new guy is not going to place high, oh, no, this, that, or whatever. So if you bring the best and the judges, they can see the best, what you bought, you're going to have your result. Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter who, doesn't matter your color, your nationality, your religion. We're here at the bodybuilding, so we don't go by who you are. We judge you by the shape. The best shape is winning. And thank God, tonight, it was me. Maybe tomorrow is not me. Somebody else from these great guys, it could take my place. So if you bring it on 100% that day, which is today, the judges, they know what they're doing. And I'm 100%. Thank you, judges, for whatever what you did. And I know you're doing a lot of work around and everywhere to make the IFBB Pro League, which is get bigger and bigger and bigger, which is, that's what we want to see. Even if I retire from me, like, which is sooner, I will be 100% supporting the IFPB Pro League back home in Africa, North Africa, and Libya. After everything settles down, all its problems. So believe me, we will hold up a big shows with a big prize money for the IFPB Pro League. At least we give something back to Mr. Jim Mannion. Well, come on. Congratulations, my friend. 100% gentleman, 100% champion, and 100% your 212 Olympia champion, Kamal El Garni.